and here's I will show you step by step how to download XAMPP in computer and make a WordPress website on your computer localhost. Follow all these steps very carefully to do it. So the first thing we have to do is we have to download XAMPP control panel and we have to install. So go to your browser and search for XAMPP download and after searching using XAMPP download open the first link and you directly jump into official XAMPP download page. Here you can download XAMPP for your Windows computer, for your Linux and for your OS X operator. So all you have to need go ahead and install XAMPP installer according to your computer requirements and here you can see the XAMPP is downloading and now at the same time we have to download WordPress so open a new tab and this time type here wordpress.org and once you are in this website click on get WordPress and here let's download latest version for WordPress and here we can see I'm downloading WordPress and my XAMPP successfully downloaded now it's time to install XAMPP so go to your file explorer go to download folder and here you'll find the XAMPP installer launch the installer click on yes to start installation process and here just click on next next and select a folder or directory where you want to install the XAMPP and click on next and click on next click on next next and here you can see the XAMPP is installing once successfully XAMPP installed on your computer all you have to need on your computer search bar type here XAMPP and here you will find the XAMPP control panel open the XAMPP control panel and here we have to start Apache and MySQL. So click on start, start next to Apache and MySQL. Once both of them started, you see this green background. Now we have to install WordPress. So go to your browser and before uh, installing WordPress, we have to create a database for our WordPress website. So type here localhost slash php my admin and you'll directly jump into your computer localhost database here just click on new to create a new database give here the database name i'm typing here online and then make sure to memorize this database name and click on create once you successfully created your database, it's time to install our WordPress website in this database. So open a new tab and before that, go back to your file explorer and go to download folder. And here you will find the WordPress file that we just downloaded. So all you have to need extract this WordPress file. Once it's extracted, open the WordPress folder. And here we can see the main WordPress folder. So we have to cut this folder and then go back to your uh, go back to the directory or disk where you installed your XAMPP. So I installed my XAMPP in my local disk C drive. So I'm going to opening it and here you find this XAMPP folder. Open the XAMPP folder and open hasty docs folder. And inside of this hasty doc folder, we have to paste our copied uh, WordPress file so here's I pasted my WordPress file and now we have to rename this WordPress file so simply rename this WordPress file with your WordPress website name for example I want to uh, I want to make my WordPress website name online so I'm typing here online so my WordPress website name will be online and now go back to your browser and now this time type here localhost slash after giving a slash you have to type your uh, WordPress folder name. So my folder name is localhost slash online and hitting on enter. And then you will directly jump into WordPress installation page. First of all, select here your WordPress language and click on continue. And here click on let's go. 
and here write your database name that you just created on your localhost slash php my admin so my database name is online and here write your database username and password so username will be root and password i'm going to leave this password field so make sure to add your database name in this database name section write username root and password uh, leave this uh, password field and database host don't change this local host and table prefix don't change anything here all you have to need click on submit and now click on run the installation and here write your wordpress website title right here your wordpress website uh, admin login username and a password and now write here your email address and now just click on install wordpress and that's it here as you can see i've successfully installed wordpress on my computer localhost now click on login and enter here your admin login username and password click on login and you directly log into your wordpress admin dashboard and now to see your wordpress website open your wordpress website and here as you can see i've successfully installed wordpress now you can go ahead and edit and build a wordpress website from your wordpress admin dashboard thanks for watching